way 13 of 23 is patience, all about patience. And as I was um, just typing it and preparing for this, I thought, this is not talked about enough. It's not emphasized enough. I think um, that's a reason why so many people give up is because we're not patient. We're like nearly there, nearly there. And then, oh, this is not happening. And then we go back down. Um, and it's really, really important to, to know that uh, exercising patience is part of the journey. There's a great quote I just came across called, from Joyce Mayer called, patience is not simply the ability to wait. It's how we behave while we're waiting. So as long as you're taking aligned action towards your vision, um, I think your behavior when you don't have that quick result, and then you might go into comparisonitis and notice that somebody else seems to be having that quicker result. But if you keep your head down, stay focused, trust, 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 and have patience um, and know that that's just a necessary part of your journey. Obviously, if it happens really, really fast, then that's an awesome bonus. But for the majority of people, it's practicing patience that makes all the difference. Um, there's another great quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson, adopt the pace of nature, her secret is patience. It's true, isn't that? I mean, nature, look at the magnificence in nature and her secret is patience. So. I think that is really, really helpful to remember. And um, when your mind is going into freak out, if you just remember, oh, patience, yes, I was supposed to be patient <laughs> and trust that um, it's all working out for you. Actually, hmm, let me see. Uh, yes, so ways to strengthen faith. This is something that I share with my mastermind group, but I'll just read a few of them. There's 21 ways to strengthen, strengthen faith. It's by Robert Russell. It's a, it's a book, but um, he talks about um, train your mind to things in, ter in terms of abundance, never allow it to dwell upon lack or limitation, seek the best of everything, know your mind will produce it. Oh, I don't remember, mm, there's some of them that are focused on, on, uh, on patience. Just all the time being positive in your thought, feeling and action, you know, choosing that and believing the unbelievable. God goes all out for you when you go all out for God. So going out all out for God would be exercising patience and trust and just, you know, rationally thinking, am I doing everything I can in order to create the result I want? Yes, okay, then I trust and I'll be patient. Stay the course, stay the course. That is, um, I think it's kind of like the final test. Not that God wants to test us, but um, just avoiding that need for instant gratification or quick gratification will pay dividends. So I wish you a mass load of patience. Um, you know, I'll be totally honest on a completely different note. Throughout this live stream, I've, I've been looking at myself and I'm thinking, why did I not put concealer on this? It looks really red right now. <laughs> completely nothing to do with patience. I'm trying to link it to the topic, but... Um, <laughs> I can't. It's just life, right? Yeah, anyway, I guess I can um, be patient with myself around my um, need for perfectionism. Have an awesome rest of day. Wishing you bucket loads of patience because um, in certain situations, and if you're a mother or a father, you'll know also in those situations that patience is such a virtue. So, um, you know, in way number three of 23, I talked about intention setting, and I think, uh, why not set the intention of being that extra patient person? You've got this. <laughs>